What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brina. And if you're not new here, then you might be thinking things look a little bit different again. Well, that's because I'm trying out a new filming setup. I put up this backdrop. So let me know in the comments if you prefer this or how I normally film. I kind of think I like this better. I think I'm going to try to find a way to make this a permanent thing. Anyways, enough of my rambling. As I'm sure you can tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be attempting the non-dominant hand challenge. That is a big mouthful. So I am right-handed normally and today I'm going to attempt to do a full face of makeup using just my left hand. So I really do not think this is going to go well. I do not have high hopes. And with that being said, let's just get right into it. As always, I'm going to be starting with the brows. So I'm just going to take some of the Pears Transparent Glyc Glycerin Soap, spray it with some setting spray, and then go in with a spoolie to set the brow hairs in place. Already, I do not feel like this is going to go well. This feels very weird <laughs> using my left hand. Hand. Yeah, I have never attempted to do my makeup with my left hand, so this is definitely a challenge for me. Alright, I think those brow hairs are as set as I'm gonna get them. Now I'm gonna go in with my trusty NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pin in the shade Black. Alright, I can already say right now this is gonna be the hardest part of the whole entire look, so if these brows go even kind of well, I have high hopes for the rest of this video. Oh. All right, we're just gonna quickly clean that up a little bit before we move on. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. This just feels very unnatural to me. All right, I'm gonna try to go from the other side because I just cannot seem to get past that brow bone. Oh, that is not a straight line. <laughs> okay, I can already tell that these brows are not gonna turn out well. Oh man. I cannot make a straight line with my left hand. This is so hard. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this tail though, oh. <laughs> I definitely need to clean this up a little bit. I think this thing is probably going to be my best friend during this video. Okay, this brow is sad and... Oh, I don't think it's going to get any better. I so badly want to just go in with my right hand and fix those couple little mistakes that I know would just make it look alright, you know? But I'm not going to cheat. Oh my god, this is so hard. It is not working so well. What is this hand even here for? It's, it's, it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't even know how to do a brow. Okay, it's not bad. I'm not too mad at that brow. Let's move on to the other eye. I think this one's gonna be much more difficult. Okay, so far we're not off to a bad start. Mm, okay, it got a little bad. Oh. Do we leave that or I think I should clean it up, don't you? All right, well, it's not coming off all the way, so we're just gonna have to cover it up with some concealer later. Okay, I think the shape is almost the same, so I'm just gonna fill in this brow and hopefully everything else goes well. This hand just doesn't even know how to do the little flickies. Like, <laughs> we can't even flick with this hand. How am I supposed to do my whole face? Oh man. <laughs> Every time I try to go in with the flickies, that's when things go bad. Really bad, huh? Oh. Oh, all right, well, we were off to a good start. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the bottom of this brow and then we're just gonna move on. So if you're unaware, last week I did the... I don't even remember what it was called. Oh, I did the challenge where I attempted my makeup with no contacts or glasses, and that was interesting. So if you haven't checked that video out yet, you should check that out. I will insert a card up here. Okay, those brows are as good as they're gonna get. Moving on to eyeshadow. I really don't know what I wanna do for my eyeshadow today. I have no idea what palette I wanna play with, so. I'm just gonna start by applying the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Egg shell oh no i don't know if you can see this but i have so much glitter on my face from this because i just used it to clean glitter off of one of my brushes yesterday so how nice 
Oh, shoot. I just realized I applied that using my right hand, didn't I? I mean, is it really that big of a deal? It's fine, right? I'll blend it with the left hand. That's the more important thing, right? Because this hand does not know how to blend. Moving on to eyeshadow. Initially, I was thinking that I would do more of a simple look, but then I was like, that's cheating because it is. So I was just looking at all my hundreds I feel like I really do have hundreds of eyeshadow palettes and I found the Boudoir Noir palette from Colourpop and I've had it for a long time, like since December and I've only ever played with it once because I'm going to be honest, I kind of forgot I had it. But look at how pretty she is. I love all these shimmers, especially they are just to die for. So I definitely want to play with this palette and I kind of think I want to do a cut crease. Yes, yes, we're gonna do it. I'm thinking like a nice soft glam look, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It could just turn into a whole thing. Who knows? I'm not gonna go into depth with this tutorial at all because once again, that's not what we're here for. We're here to have fun. I mean, I'll still tell you what shades I'm using, but <laughs> beyond that. First, I'm gonna go in with Hot Toddy. This just feels unnatural. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna take me quite a few hours it's just i have to go so slow because i really have to think about what i'm doing you know oh all right well there's no fixing that <laughs> i just don't feel like this is going well i'm just gonna leave that and then try to blend it out i don't know let me try to wipe it with my finger yeah that's not helping okay I could have stopped doing that. I'm just gonna move on to the other eye. We're just ruining that one more. I really thought the eyebrows were gonna be the hard part, but it's the eyeshadow. This hand just does not know how to hold, it doesn't even know how to hold the brush. How do I normally hold a brush? I forget. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is how I normally hold it. So let's try it in this hand. Oh, that feels so much better. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay. That I did look a little bit better until the end there, but I think I need to add a little bit more to make them a little more even. I mean, it doesn't really matter because they're definitely not even and it's just gonna look like crap, so... <laughs> I am so covered in glitter. Ugh. I'm gonna attempt to blend all this out using silk sheets on this fluffy brush, but I don't have very high hopes so it is so hard i'm gonna be honest i don't think i've ever watched any of these challenges and if i have it's been a while so i don't know how this turned out for anybody else i'm assuming not a lot better than this though fun fact when i was in like third grade I thought it would be fun to try to learn how to write with my left hand because i was like hey my right hand gets tired why can't my left hand do the work too, you know? So I attempted to try to teach myself how to write with my left hand. And it was going pretty well, if I'm gonna like be honest here. It was going pretty well, I thought, at least my nine-year-old brain thought. Until a TA saw me and she was like, you can't do that. And I was like, why not? You know, but she never gave me an answer. So I just never did it again. I was one of those kids I did not like to get in trouble. But I'm just saying, if she would have just let me continue living my best life and trying to learn how to write with my left hand, this would be going a lot better. So, this is whatever your name is, it's your fault. <laughs> this is just not going well. It's taking so long. I feel like my eyes should already be done. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes and normally, my eyes would definitely be done by now or at least closer you know what i mean all right so i'm just gonna keep blending i feel like i look like i'm not trying but i really am <laughs> i feel like i want to add a little bit more of hot toddy just because we kind of lost it but i have a feeling this is probably gonna be a mistake all right good enough okay my hand is seriously starting to cramp from holding this brush and all this blending so 
I think we're just gonna have to call that good. That's as good as it's gonna get because my hand cannot take any more blending. Now let's attempt to cut the crease. I also do not think this is gonna go over very well either, but I might surprise myself. Oh, I did not go high enough with that brown for a cut crease. Okay, it's not perfect, but I don't feel like it's as bad as it could have been. We're gonna attempt to fix this. I feel like I'm just making it worse. <laughs> that is just gonna have to be the cut crease, because it is not getting better than that. And we still have a whole nother eye to do. I have a feeling that once we get done with the eyes, it's not gonna be as bad. And then it won't take quite as long for me to do this, but let me tell you, this is taking forever. And once again no longer can see that brown. It's whatever. I'm not even gonna bother fixing it on this eye because it really didn't do anything on the other eye, so. This cut crease does not even look very good. I feel like my cut creases just kind of look like how they did the first couple of times I did them. <laughs> it's fine. I think that's kind of just how my makeup's going to turn out. Like, I really don't know what I'm doing. So ever since I opened this palette, this shade Goodnight has really just been calling my name. And so I think I want to go in with that on the majority of the lid. And then we're going to go in with Vibin for like a nice wing out of eyeshadow. At least that's the plan right now. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, she pretty. Look at that shimmer. I really need to play with this palette more. I always forget how good ColourPop is. It's just, these cut creases, man. <laughs> oh no. I got a little bit of that shimmer right here. Let's see if we can fix it. Um, no, we're not fixing it. All right, so we're just gonna have to blend that in. It's fine. It'll just give me a little bit of extra highlight. Nobody will even know. Okay, we got it on the lid this time. All right, now I'm gonna attempt to go in with Vibin. I really don't know how well this is gonna go. Definitely getting a little bit of fallout from this shade. So far, we're not off to a bad start. And I can always just clean that up with some foundation or something later. I'm really impressed with my ability to do basically liner with my left hand. I kind of think I just want to take this all the way in. I don't know. I can't decide if I want to treat it more like liner or if I want to just kind of blow it out, you know? Okay, that's not bad. I definitely do want to like make that a little bit sharper, but I'll do that when I go in with the foundation and concealer and stuff. So not bad. Yeah. I do think it's gonna be much more difficult on this eye though because that's just the way things have been going. I feel like the little wings kind of almost help save this look because they definitely take your attention away from that really crappy cut crease. Now it is time for some foundation and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation in the shade Fair Porcelain which is probably going to be too light for me but oh, I put the I put the stuff on the wrong hand. It's whatever. Hey, that works. Look at that. <laughs> wow, this is definitely too light. Blending is significantly harder with my left hand than it is with my right hand. I would have never thought something so simple would be so hard. Why can't my hand not do this very well? All right, I think the foundation is about as good as it's gonna get, so let's move on to concealer, shall we? And I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer because I think this is the only one that's going to be light enough for this foundation, so. I really feel like I should go in with a brush for the concealer just so that way I have less of a chance of ruining the eyeshadow. What, what fun is that? So we're just gonna go in with this sponge and hope for the best. Or maybe you're hoping for the worst, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll just have to fix that. Oh, almost did it on this side too. All right, we're gonna be very careful. We're not gonna ruin this one. It is so hard to blend. Oh, that went right in my eye. So hard to blend with your left hand. I just can't control this hand. It just does whatever it wants. It's like, oh, you, you want to avoid things? Let me just go into them. That's helpful. I'm gonna attempt to fix that liner a little bit. Okay, she fixed. Let's try to fix this eye too. I think I need to, I'm just gonna go in with this concealer brush that I was using earlier to cut the crease to try to get this a little bit pointier like the other eye is because it is just really bugging me. There we go, we got it. 
Okay, now let's blend that out a little bit. There we go. Ooh, that's so much better. This one's a little bit more dramatic, but it's fine. We can fix it. There we go. Oh, I'm so impressed with myself now. Okay, I feel like I want to set my face. I was gonna say let's finish up the eyes, but definitely need to set my face first. Face is set, now let's finish the eyes. I'm thinking I really want to go in with that Vibin shade just a little bit more on the lower lash line. Yes, just like that. And now I'm gonna go back in with the original fluffy brush and a silk sheet. All right, this blending is not the best, but it's doing something. Oh, darn it. We're gonna have to fix that a little bit with just a little bit of makeup off this off this sponge. Hey, look at that. All right, hopefully this other eye goes a little bit better. All right, not bad. Let's move on and finish the face. Now we get to add some bronzer and make me look a little bit less pasty, hopefully. But first, let's contour. I'm gonna use the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette. All right, I don't think we're off to a bad start. Like I said, I really don't think the rest of this is going to be quite as bad as the eyes were. Now it's time to contour the nose, and that's where I think it's going to be an issue. I also just noticed how terrible my inner corners look, so I'm just going to go back in with this brush real quick to try to kind of help them. We're not off to a great start here, but maybe I can fix it. It's a little uneven, not going to lie. <laughs> So what I'm actually going to do is go in with the um, matte highlight, I guess, and get a little bit of that on my sponge. Oh, it wasn't so bad. All right. Not perfect, but what can I ask for? Now it is time for bronzer. Going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light. Okay, you would think that after filming this video for as long as I've been filming this video, my left hand would have learned something about how to blend, but it just hasn't. So this is still difficult. <laughs> I feel like the bronzer's going on a little heavy handed, which is pretty bad considering this is my bronzer that I go to when don't want a lot. And now for blush, I think I want to go in with something a little bit more on the warm tone side. So I'm going to use the Alamar Cosmetic Colorette Blush Trio Palette and I'm going to go in with Castaway. This is the Fair to Light Palette in case you were wondering. Ooh, I love this blush. It's been a minute since I've used it. Forgot how much I love it. I really thought that I was just going to immediately have to wipe this look off when I got done. So I actually had intentions of doing another makeup look when I got done with this. But I actually don't think it's too bad. And I would definitely wear this the rest of the day. So that's saying a lot. But we haven't finished yet. Things still have the potential of going very, very bad. I don't know what I want to use for highlight. I'm actually very tempted to just go in with Good night, the same one I put on my lids because it's so pretty and I actually think that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, that's pretty. I definitely am gonna have to say that the left side is a lot easier to do with the left hand and I'm just gonna guess that's because the left hand is in closer proximity to the left side of my face. That shade for a highlight, ooh, she wins. And now for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Totally Toffee. And I really don't know how this is gonna go. All right, that's it's actually not going so bad. I really thought the lip liner was just gonna be horrendous, if I'm being totally honest here. And I'm so sad because I just hit the bottom of this lip liner. It's my favorite. And then for lip gloss, I'm gonna go in with the Persona Honey Gloss. I take back what I said about the lips being the hard part. The hard part is definitely going to be the mascara. I did not even go there yet. My brain was just like, mm, mascara who? Okay, I'm going to give it a try. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to curl my lashes with my left hand, let alone apply mascara. All right. The lashes are curling. Okay. I didn't do too bad a job. I definitely did a better job at curling my lashes on my left eye than I did the right. And I kind of think I might have to start using my left hand to curl the lashes on the left side from now on because I don't have this big old nose getting in the way. Okay, mascara is applied and I did not get any on my eyes. I can't believe it. <laughs> I really thought this was just gonna be 
not good. We still have another eye, so I shouldn't get ahead of myself, but so far so good. Oh, oh no, contact got dry. We're good. Oh, I think I picked the perfect mascara because that could have been very bad. I don't think I do too bad of a job. I definitely got a little bit of mascara over here that I need to clean up, but I'm gonna let that dry first. Now time for lashes. Say a prayer for me. So since I used a ColourPop eyeshadow palette, I feel it's only fitting that I go in with some ColourPop lashes. This is the It's Faux 8-piece Faux Mink False Lash Kit from ColourPop, obviously. And I'm gonna go with these ones, which are in the style of more. But real quick before I do that, I'm gonna go in with just the tiniest bit of black liner on my top lash lines just to help hide the bands. This is not easy to apply with my left hand. Okay. I didn't mess up too much. Definitely think I got liner on my contact. Ow. All right, lash glue is on the lash. Let's attempt to get this on my eye. Oh, this is hard. All right, I think I got it. It does not look very good, but it's on there. All right, I think I got it. Oh. Nope. Just get on there. Oh, there. No, still not on. Now it's on. Mostly. Time for the other eye. I think this one will be a lot easier because like I said, so far everything's just been so much easier on the left side than it is on the right. Plus, to be honest, I think I usually do my left eye with my left hand because this feels pretty natural. All right. I think I'm done. So what do you think? How did I do? I don't think I did too bad. I think these cut creases look pretty messy and my brows also look very messy. But other than that, I am very impressed with myself. This lash could also use a little bit of work, but no big deal. Please let me know in the comments if you think that I nailed this challenge. As always, let me know if there's any other makeup related challenges that you would like to see me do because I love these and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!